government is coming for Elon Musk. They're coming with today's announcement of this disinformation uh, panel that they're going to have to examine so-called disinformation governance panel. Um, that is really the government trying to impose the censorship that Elon Musk is saying is no longer going to going to exist on Twitter. Uh, Mr. Secretary, who's Nina Jankowitz? Um, she is the newly appointed um, individual in our office of policy. In the uh, Department of Homeland Security, and is she, she the new executive director the of the disinformation? Is she the new executive director for disinformation yeah. governments uh, board? She is the executive director of the disinformation governance. Board. And this is—is is this the same individual who said the dossier was real and the Hunter Biden laptop story was false? Is that the individual who's now running the disinformation governance board? Uh, I'm not familiar with those statements. Been reported widely. Um, she had previously called the Hunter Biden laptop a, a Trump campaign product. Um, seeming to discredit its validity or <clears throat> validity of reporting surrounding that. Um, how can, can you assuage concerns of people who are looking at this person who's been appointed to this position and wondering if she's going to be able to accurately judge misinformation now that a lot of that reporting has been uh, proven to be factual in some ways? Well, I don't have any comments on the laptop, but what I can tell you is that it sounds like the objective of the board is to prevent disinformation and misinformation from traveling around the country in a range of communities. I'm not sure who opposes that effort. When you blame Putin's invasion of Russia on inflation uh, that's been rising for well over a year, that's disinformation. When you blame Trump for the current state of the U.S. Uh, border, that's disinformation. Or when you say democracy is in peril if voting rights aren't federalized, uh, maybe you shouldn't be the arbiter of truth uh, at this point, guys. They want to be able to say things like Russia collusion and, and perpetuate hoaxes and then have people like us be silenced. They want to be able to advocate for COVID lockdowns. They want to be able to ad be advocate for school closures, things that are not supported by the evidence, but then when you speak out, uh, they want to stifle dissent. And so we reject this bureau in the state of Florida. <laughs> Hello and welcome back. Thanks for watching. I think I have some good news that you're all going to appreciate. Yesterday we heard about Joe Biden's Orwellian anti-democratic plans to launch a so-called disinformation governance board. This is troubling for many reasons, not least of which is the fact that Joe Biden and the woke supremacist he appointed as head of the authoritarian department are both notorious spreaders of disinformation. Nina Jankowitz, who is known for being a promoter of the discredited Russian disinformation known as the Steele dossier. Not only is the Steele dossier itself Russian disinformation, but in that tweet, she claimed that the inclusion of the Steele dossier didn't influence the conclusions of the Intelligent Committee assessment. But that's just not true. James Comey and Andrew McCabe both fought to include information from the Steele dossier in the 2017 ICA on Russian election interference. And although the CIA and NSA ultimately overruled their efforts, the dossier was still summarized in a classified annex attached to the report. So let me just get this straight. She actually used used Russian disinformation to attack her political opponents in the Republican Party, then protected Democrats by suppressing legitimate news, which she wrongly called Russian disinformation. Famous or powerful, Barbara Streisand has it all and I can do what she can do. So why is she rich, famous and powerful? While I'm still stuck here singing Christmas songs for all of you, what does it take to be famous and powerful? Information laundering is really quite ferocious. It's when a huckster takes some lies and makes them sound precocious by saying them in Congress or a mainstream outlet. So disinformation's origins are slightly less atrocious. It's how you hide a little, hide a little lie. It's how you hide a little, hide a little lie. It's how you hide a little, hide a little lie. I think there's a general concern about Trump supporters potentially showing up armed to the polls and these sorts of voter suppression, voter intimidation, that's illegal everywhere. That's it. Now you can get back to your Netflix and your Zoom happy hours and lots and lots of washing your hands. <laughs> I guess promoter to the head of the information ministry. Now, as foreboding as this news is, we do now have confirmation that blowback is incoming. According to the Benny Johnson show, Republican members of Congress tell me that legislation is being drafted as we speak to defund the Joe Biden ministry of truth. And it doesn't stop there. He's also reporting that quote, they are not just going for defunding. This is an all out war footing. 
impeachments, congressional hearings, public humiliation of people behind it, harsh laws against this ever happening again. Oh man, I hope this is all true, but this is the Republican Party we're talking about. So let's just hope that they actually follow through with all of this. No doubt that the Democrats and their media mouthpieces will spin this as Republicans loving disinformation. But we just need to be equally loud and calling out the people who are deeming themselves the protectors of truth being notorious disseminators of disinformation themselves. And that's exactly the problem with an Orwellian department like this. Who gets to decide what disinformation is and isn't? I mean, if you're the police, who will police the police? Oh. Okay. Especially when the self-appointed guardians have long track records of spreading information that was false. All right, that's it for that one. Hit that like button and please share this video. Then let us all know what you think in the comments. See you all next video. <coughs>